Hi guys. Now today we'll talk about uh, eco join. As we discussed in our previous lectures, that uh, before you join any uh, tables together, it is important to perform Cartesian product. So Cartesian product is actually when the rows of one table are multiplied with the rows of other table, and then you need to apply any kind of join which will be applied maybe on the where clause or on clause or any other condition using any other conditions. So eco join is when it is applied on the primary key and foreign key relationship based on the equal operator. So that is why it is called eco join. So eco join is a join which is performed on any two columns, maybe primary key, foreign key columns, and they are checked if the values of primary key and foreign key are equal. If the primary key and foreign key values are equal, those rows will be selected and the rows which are which do not have you know the primary key or foreign key equal they will not be selected so let me show you how it is performed and how to use it so for example if you see over here how to write it it's very simple want to see uh, these uh, for example employee id and department id from this table employees table and department id and department name from this table department table so actually you want to see these you know you have department id in this table employees which is the foreign key and department id in the department table which is the primary key so you want to perform actually joining on the primary key and foreign key and you need to apply this joining on the based on the equal operator that is why you call it as eco join so how to perform eco join it is very simple for example if i want to see employee id employee id from the employees table so i have written employees dot employee underscore id so employees is table name and employee id is the attribute name then comma employees dot last name so actually this last name attribute is selected from employees table and then employees dot department id so uh, department id this column is selected from departments table comma departments dot department id now this is the same column department id over here and then department id again over here but this department ID is selected from employees table and this department ID column is selected from departments table. So basically this is your primary key and this is your foreign key. So both are selected over here. You can see department ID from employees table and departments ID from your departments table. Then departments dot location ID, which is which will be selected. This location ID will be selected from a departments table, which is, uh, you know, uh, uh, located or shown over here. Now from employees comma departments this is these are two tables which will be which are written in the from class and uh, query from select to from actually from class is actually the cartesian product of employees and departments table. now when cartesian product is performed you know the all possible combination of you know uh, the rows will be generated which will be actually the multiplication of employees and departments table so all the possible rows of uh, employees table will be multiplied with the, all the rows of departments table. Now all the possible combinations are generated. Now you want to perform or apply uh, the uh, you know condition and to apply the condition you have used where class and in the where class you are applying condition and the condition is that employees dot department ID that means the attribute which is department ID from employees table if it is equal to the departments dot department ID. So basically if the attribute of this department ID, which is the primary key, if the value is equal to the department employees dot department ID, which is the foreign key in the department, uh, sorry, employees table. So if the values are equal to together, if they are same in both, you know, primary key or the foreign key uh, attribute, if they are the same, those rows will be selected. And if the rows which are not same in, uh, you know, the primary key or the foreign key, if the values are not same, those rows will not be selected. So this is how you perform, uh, you know, eco join. That is why it is called eco join because equal operator used over here. This eco join is used when you have where class and in the where class primary key and foreign key values are checked on the equal operator. So this is how you perform eco join and those rows will be selected if they have the same value in the foreign key and the primary key. So let's perform it practically. Now let me show you once we executed this, uh, the Cartesian product, for example, I want to see this first name column, uh, phone number column, and let's remove this job ID and salary column. And instead of seeing, you know, these 
a column I, i'll see just department underscore id column okay comma and then if you want to see again department id column from the department table this department id column i want to see from the employees table and again if i write it same like department underscore id from department table so if you want to distinguish them that this is coming from employees table oh, sorry this is coming from employees table and this is coming from department table to distinguish them you need to write table name before you know attribute names so let's write it like employees dot department id so this means this column is coming from employees table and departments dot departments id shows that this attribute department id is coming from department table so if you won't write the table name then there will be error in the query because uh, you know the database engine will get confused that you know which department id column you want to see actually from the department table or from the employees table so therefore you need to write uh, the uh, you know the table name before the attribute name so once you write uh, the uh, uh, the attribute with the table names then you can execute it to see what is shown you know when this query is executed and you know the cartesian product will be shown because i'm i have written in the fair uh, from class employees comma departments which will actually multiply the rows of employees table with the department table. so if you execute it you'll see all the possible combination will be generated and now you can see over here that the first name attribute is shown then we have department id attribute and then we have again department id attribute which is the primary key and this is the foreign key and then we have department name table but now if you see this department id uh, which is the foreign key is different from the primary key which is in the department id so basically all the possible combinations are generated therefore you will see those values also which are not equal to primary key and foreign key therefore if you see over here there will be many rows available which will which won't have any you know equal values available there will be very few well, uh, rows where the values will be similar for example if you search the you know uh, you want to see the foreign key and primary key are equal when the values are 10 for example the foreign key primary key value is 10 and but foreign key value is 50 and you want to see where the 10 actually exist that the primary key and value key should be same so let's scroll down and then see over here now you can see the primary key value of the jennifer is the employee who has the primary key value 10 and foreign key value 10 so this row is actually the uh, value which i want to see other rows which are generated over here are not useful because the primary key and foreign key values are not same therefore the well data which is shown is invalid so if you want to see the valid data you need to perform joining on this step so let's perform the echo join it's very simple you just write where and then you need to mention the uh, the table name first for example employees dot department id and then equal to departments dot department id so actually what you want to say is that the value of foreign key of the department id which is in the employees table should be equal to department id which is the primary key in the department table they, if they are equal those rows should be selected and rows which are not equal should not be selected so if you see over here total 1 106 rows are selected which are which have which are which actually shows that the employees who are working in the specific or particular departments are selected only now you can see the rows which are equal which have the equal value of primary key and foreign key are selected and those rows which don't which are, which don't have the equal values of primary key or the foreign key are basically not selected in the results so this is how you perform the uh, you know echo join and it's very simple similar task can also be done with the help of inner join inner join and uh, echo join both perform similar task inner join is the newer version of the echo join actually both have the same purpose but when you are using the older version of the sql you can use uh the echo join but if you have the newer version and in the in nowadays actually uh, is used uh, the inner join echo join is not used inner join is used instead of uh, the echo join it is more efficient than the echo join but uh, the task or the purpose of using them is similar so if, whatever you can do with the echo join same task can be performed with the inner join also
so let me show you how to use inner join it's very simple just in the uh, from class where you have written the table names just put inner join keyword in between the tables which you want to join for example you want to join employees table with departments table just write inner join between these two tables and then in the where you use the where class just remove it and put on class over here where word will be removed and then on class or the on keyword will be written instead of the 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 where class and then the rest of the query will be same and if you execute it the same result will be generated see same output is generated so the same query can be you know uh, same task can be performed with echo join or with the inner join both have the same uh, usage and same purpose of writing them so i hope it's clear if you have any question please post in the comments i will answer you thank you